So um, what we use is a tool called Tactical Arbitrage. Um, and this is an amazing tool that will compare your products, uh, compare products at retail stores to products that are already selling on Amazon. And it will help you find uh, all those products that are selling great. And uh, you can sell them and piggyback on those same listings. So, um, you know, if you're doing private label or wholesale or, you know, shopping in stores or whatever it is, um, you can add this to your business um, and make additional uh, income from that. I'm going to show you how simple uh, and easy it is to get started. So this is just one small part of uh, the tool called Tactical Arbitrage. It, uh, it will do uh, a ton of different things, but uh, today I'm just going to show you and focus on doing a product search, which is going to let you compare uh, over 500 different stores uh, to what they sell on Amazon. It doesn't matter what platform you sell on. Uh, you can see a list right here of all the different uh, sites that are supported. Um, no matter what platform you're selling on, no matter what country you're in or what country you're selling on, um, you can source at all of these stores and, and sell on any of the platforms. Uh, as you can see here, France, Spain, Germany, U.S., of course, the U.K., Japan, Canada, and Australia are all supported as source sites. So uh, it can compare any of these source sites to any of these other platforms. So, for example, if you're in Germany and want to sell in the UK, you can compare uh, the German sites to uh, the UK Amazon. Or if you're in the UK and are selling on the US platform, which is obviously the biggest platform, you can uh, source, um, you know, those German sites or the UK sites and sell in the US. Um, or, you know, obviously just source the US sites to sell in the US. Uh, currently, there's 471 sites just on the U.S. platform and 206 in the U.K. Uh, nearly every day, they're adding um, more and more sites. So. Uh, so if you go over here to the product search, I mean, it's this simple. You say where you're sourcing from, and then all of those sites will be available. And then where you're selling on is going to compare those prices and all that other information um, to those. Um, so, you know, you're going to have... You're going to be able to compare from wherever you're sourcing from, and uh, just with the click of a button, you can change it from .com to UK or Canada or wherever, uh, whatever platform you want to sell on. So it's going to have all the fees and um, you know all the costs that it's going to co um, that it's going to be charging you by selling on that platform. Uh, and then all we have to do here is select what site. So um, I'm going to look at uh, Walmart. Um, and then for categories, uh, you can do a few things. You can go, um, and the category is the actual category um, on your site you want to source from. So if you're looking at Walmart, you can uh, look at Walmart um, and go to the actual site, select a category, um, you know, like, um, you know, let's say toys and then action figures. So if you want to see uh, everything in the toys action figures category, you can go to that site, copy the link, uh, just paste it in here. Um, and then select whatever start and end page if you want, or you can leave it blank, um, or you can scan in bulk since, uh, tactical arbitrage is so fast that it's in just, you know, minutes or under a minute, it can look at every product, uh, in that category, compare it to Amazon and then it'll be done. So you don't want to be sitting here babysitting this all the time. So what you can do is, uh, there's an option to import your own list, or you can do what's called, um, use what's called Easy Bulk. So what Easy Bulk is, they automatically are bringing this in. Uh, so you just turn that on. You can select Current, or you can save any lists that you want. As you can see, we've saved a few. And then we'll look over here at Easy Bulk, and we can select whatever categories we want. So if we wanted to look at toys, for example, and all the categories are in here, but, um, you know, the level one obviously would be toys. If you hit Add to Bulk, it's going to add those all to a bulk list. Um, but if you wanted to go a little deeper, you could go down here and look at all of the categories that are under toys, action figures, arts and crafts for kids, building sets, which would be Legos, things like that, um, dolls and doll houses, etc. So um, if we just wanted to leave it like this, we could hit add to bulk and you can add up to 500 categories. So as you can see here, it added 142 categories. Um, that's all of the ones in toys. Uh, but if we also wanted to look at, um, let's say, uh, um, what's a good one here? 
um, pets maybe uh, that would go, uh, you know, in the same vein. So we could uh, then select pets and hit add to bulk. It's going to add all the pets. Uh, so now we have 309. There's a limit of 500 per search. Um, but if we also wanted to add, um, let's say, uh, the seasonal products, which would probably be Easter coming up, we could add all of those. And we go to 378. And another great one we find a lot of good stuff is sports and outdoors. So if we add all those, we're at 464, almost at our 500. Um, and then we can save this to, so we can use it in the future, or we can just uh, start a search for it. So I'm going to end the search I was currently doing, um, and then we're going to Then all we have to do is use uh, select our search filters, um, which is what's going to narrow everything down. Uh, if we do this, it's basically going to look at every product and then bring it in no matter what happens. Uh, so if we look at our filters, I'll show you uh, exactly what we're doing. So um, we usually look at current rank, but you can also look at the average from the last 30 days or 90 days uh, under 100,000. So everything over 100,000, it will remove. Um, also, we're looking for at least a $2 ROI, just so we don't get anything that has, you know, like 20 cent um, profit. Um, and then at least 40% ROI. And we put 40% in because we really want to get 50%. So we kind of want to have a little buffer zone. Uh, and I can show you later, but what we'll do is we'll put all those that aren't uh, quite at 50% in a, in a separate folder after we find the good ones. Uh, and then... We'll take everything, um, and then tactical arbitrage can automatically update and let us know when those things hit that. So maybe something sold out on our source on Walmart or Target or whatever site we're looking at, uh, and it's going to let us know when it does come back in stock and when it does hit that 50% ROI. But you can plug in any numbers that you want. Uh, we're also going to show out-of-stock results, which is kind of the holy grail of of arbitrage, which is going to show you the products that are sold out by everybody, by, by Amazon, by sellers who are selling an SBA, who are merchant fulfilled, uh, and Amazon hides those by default because they don't want to show products that are um, that the customer can't buy. But we want to see those because if we found a place to buy it, then you can basically name your own price for it. Um, and then one of the best settings is also show reverse search results for more sources. So we're looking at UPC and title mat stores, but um, what this will do is it's going to look and compare each product in that category. So if we're looking in action figures, it's going to look at every product in the action figures category one at a time, compare it from Walmart to Amazon, and then it's going to take that product that it found on Amazon and then search uh, however many products. It's almost 500. Uh, if you're looking at the U.S. platform, it's going to compare uh, that product on Amazon to almost 500 different stores and try and find uh, it that meets these qualifications again. So um, an awesome tool that, uh, and an awesome feature that, uh, and this is really where we find the bulk of the products, not searching from one site to Amazon, but when we do the reverse search, go to Amazon and look at all those 500 stores. Um, and then, you know, once you set up your filters, you can save it. These are already saved filters that we're using, uh, but there's a lot more options here that you can see. You can remove third-party sellers from the results, which would be third-party sellers, like the third-party Walmart sellers or Kmart or stores like that. And also um, out-of-stock and oversized products. I don't recommend you do that because the out-of-stock products are the best ones because when you get that notification when it's in stock, you can go buy it when other people probably don't know about it. Um, and then lots of other things but I, I wouldn't suggest you you do all of this and remove a lot of stuff to begin with you know start out by you know find as much as you can and then you can add these filters because if you add too many filters you're going to filter everything out because it'll have to meet all of those qualifications um, and it's best to have a human eye uh, looking at that until uh, you're more acquainted with uh, with the tool and then you can start adding more one at a time. Um, and the last thing is your store price reductions. Um, this is a great one because a lot of sites have, will be running deals. They'll have, uh, you know, a cash back, a gift card. Maybe you have a cash back card. So you want to punch, punch in all this stuff. So, um, you know, if you have 2% from a, from a credit card company, 
um, you know, it's giving you 2% back on retail sales or 2% back on everything. Uh, and then maybe you find discount gift cards uh, from a site uh, like Cardbear, for example. Uh, Cardbear usually you can get between 2 and 5% back at Walmart. So um, Cardbear is actually a great site. That it, it doesn't sell anything. It's just basically affiliate links that's going to send you to um, uh, send you to other sites. So it's kind of calling all of those different sites together. And right now it looks like we can get 4% cash back um, using gift cards then. So gift cards then has 4% cash back. Um, I'm sorry, a 4% off gift card, uh, not cash back. Uh, so we could enter uh, 4% in there. And then, um, you know, as far as cashback sites, we can find find the best ones at cashbackmonitor.com, uh, which basically does the same thing. They're not doing cashback, but they're going to show you all the best sites and and monitor all those sites and tell you what uh, the top ones are for basically any site that does it. So here we are at Walmart. So if you have a Discover card, you can get 5% back there with Discover Deals, or you promise has 5% back on almost every uh, every site um, that it supports, at least 5%. Um, and you can see, and if you're using travel points, uh, you have any of these travel mile programs, credit card points and some other reward things uh, like shop my way and swag bucks things like that um, as well as just the straight cashback sites um, it has all of them uh, listed that supports that site and you can basically punch in any site um, that that does the cashback stuff and you're gonna find um, you're gonna see all the information on that so if we go back here, we can see we're going to get 5%. So we can punch 5% in here. Uh, oops, not 50. It's going to um, do all that. And you can also enter your state sales tax, but really nobody should be paying sales tax. If you're paying sales tax, then you should be sending your products to um, a prep center in a tax-free state, and you may be able to get your prep prepping done for free. Um, uh, so with all that, we have 10 filters applied, and we can go ahead and start our search. And you're going to see just how fast this works. Uh, so we can see we have 464 rows. Uh, it's found with its first search 93 um, pages. And we can see it's on page one. And it's already looked at 100 products. And you can see how fast it's actually uh, comparing that. And it's already added two products. Um, and one good thing to understand is none of this is running on your computer. So, you know, you can close the lid, turn it off, you know, throw it in the pool, you know, and this thing's still going to run uh, until it's done or um, uh, about, I think, 84 hours has passed or 72, something like that, and they're going to, um, when it's going to end. But usually you can get through about 500 rows, depending on the size of, um, of the sites, uh, before you ever get done. I mean, just in the minute or so we've been talking um, it's done, you know, almost 900 uh, products. Um, so uh, the next thing we'll do is go over and view uh, view the actual data that we found. Um, and I did already have some data in here, so we're going to look at, um, we'll see the newest items. Um, okay, so if I sort the newest first, which is going to click on these little arrows here, uh, we can see the toys that we found. Um, and while it doesn't look like it's an exact match, uh, you know, the Amazon side is showing the, the actual product. Uh, the Walmart side is showing, you know, it in the retail packaging. But um, it is the same product. We can see there's a 264% ROI right now. Um, it's currently sold out, but that's okay because we'll move it to our out-of-stock folder and Amazon will let, it know, let us know when it does come in stock. Um, so, um, currently the price on Walmart is $14. Uh, it's selling for, let's see what we're selling for. And it's making a profit of $34. 
And here's another one uh, that found at Target. Um, DC Comics Girls Rule Invitation. Uh, found it at Target. Um, it's five nineteen. The buy box price is um, eleven forty five, and we're making about a forty one percent profit, um, which isn't bad. So everyone, we're buying for five dollars. We're making two dollars and thirteen cents on. Um, and if we look, it gets a ton of sales um, from Amazon. Uh, so you know, we're looking at the last three months here, and basically every time uh, we see a drop in rank. Uh, that means that it um, it had a sale, at least one sale. Um, you know, and it's just product after product. Obviously, these are an exact match. Um, Three dollars and seventy nine cents uh, to buy, twelve forty nine in selling for. So it's one hundred sixteen percent ROI um, with an eleven thousand rank in toys, which is uh, quite amazing. So you're actually making four forty one for every one you buy for three seventy nine, and these things weigh nothing. They will cost practically nothing to ship um you know so as you can see you just find product after product after product uh to find the uh that's worth selling there's also you know a ton more features here um that i really can't get into all in one short video but um you know if you check out my channel you'll see all the videos um we've made about a hundred different videos about using tactical arbitrage um and it does things like if it's not the right match then you can click on this button and it's going to search um, on Amazon, trying to find it by title, um, you can open, um, go right to the page to make sure you're not restricted from selling that in your Am right in your Amazon Seller Central account. You can click on this uh, this forked arrow here, and it's going to open the product both in Amazon and whatever your source site is. Target in this case, so you can compare the listings and make sure it's uh, you know an exact match. You know if there's any questions on it. Um, yeah, and that's uh, that's about it. Um, if you go to ta.seanmayo.com, you can get a 10-day trial for only a dollar. Um, and then you'll be able to, uh, and, and if you use the, um, just use Sean Mayo as your coupon code, you'll get that extended trial. Uh, so you can try it out for 10 days. Um, and I'll have links in the description below, but if you need help setting it up or you know you want to talk more about tactical arbitrage or anything Amazon, uh, you can book a free call with me. Just um, go to uh, book.seanmayo.com or uh, see the description. And, um, you know, we'd be very happy to help you get going on this, uh, this amazing tool. Um, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.